In the introduction of electromagnetic radiation, you should have talked about the fact that it behaves as a wave and as a particle. That is what is meant by the term the dual nature of electromagnetic radiations. It shows properties of both wave and particle. In grade 11, there's a topic on the wave nature of electromagnetic radiation. And then in grade 12, you're going to explore the particle nature of electromagnetic radiation. Right, let's do 5.2. So 5.2 says that a particle has 3.98 times 10 to the minus 13 joules of energy and has a wavelength of 5 times 10 to the minus 13 meters, right? And then the first question, 5.2.1 says, what is a photon? A photon is a pocket of energy in which light travels. A photon is a pocket of energy in which light travels. Right. Uh, let's move to 5.2.2. 5.2.2 2 says, what is the speed of a photon? Right. If it is a photon, then we know that it's a pocket of energy in which light travels. And then what is the speed of light again? The speed of light is C is equal to 3 times 10 to the power 8 meters per second, right? Nothing travels faster than light. And then uh, 5.2.3 is saying that by means of a calculation, let's show that the above particle is a photon. By means of a calculation, let's show that the above particle is a photon. So let's jot down the information we have so that we can see how we can potentially solve this problem. So we given the energy, right? It is said to be equals to 3.98 times 10 to the minus 13 joules, right? And then we given the wavelength, it is said to be equals to 5 times 10 to the minus 13 meters. Right, and then the question is saying that by means of a calculation, let's show that the above particle is a photon. How would you know that a particle is a photon? If it's traveling at a speed of 3 times 10 to the power 8 meters per second, you would know that that particle is a photon, right? Nothing travels at that speed except for photons, right? So you're looking for c in 5.2.3 if you can prove that c is equal to 3 times 10 to the power 8 meters per second then beyond reasonable doubt we would know that that particle is a photon right so let's go ahead and see what we can do here uh, we know that the energy is equal to Planck's constant multiplied by speed of light divided by the wavelength right and then uh, what is the energy it is given to us we have 3.98 times 10 to the minus 13 and then what is Planck constant 6.63 times 10 to the minus 34 and then multiply by c speed of light right that's what we're looking for we're trying to prove that it is equal to 3 times 10 to the power 8. If that is the case, then that particle is the photon, right? And then the wavelength, we have 5 times 10 to the minus 13, right? So now the physics is essentially done. We just have to solve for C, right? Uh, so let's take it easy. Let's not do any complicated math. Let's just go ahead and cross multiply. So if we do that, we're going to get... 3.98 times 10 to the minus 13 multiplied by 5 times 10 to the minus 13. And then this is going to be equals to 1 multiplied by 6.63 times 10 to the minus uh, 34. Everything multiplied by C, right? And then from here on, we're going to divide both sides by the coefficient of c because we want to isolate c is the value of c that we're looking for right so we're going to define the right hand side by 6.63 times 10 to the minus 34 so this number and this one the cancel out and then on the left hand side we have to divide uh, with the same number right so that we maintain our equality so if you put uh, what's on the left hand side on your calculator you can get 3 times 10 
to the power 8 meters per second because we're looking for speed and then it's equals to c right we can conclude that our particle is indeed a photon because it has a speed of 3 times 10 to the power 8 meters per second right uh, let's move to 5.3 and uh, see what we can do here so we have uh, 5.3 which is saying will a photon of ultraviolet light have more energy or less energy than a photon of gamma rays let's give a reason so a photon of ultraviolet light will definitely have less energy right compared to gamma rays we know that gamma rays have the most energy a thing followed by x-ray and so on so ultraviolet will have less energy compared to gamma rays and the saying we must give a reason right uh, we know fully well that the energy is equal to black's constant multiplied by frequency that's another formula we have right so we say in gamma rays have the most energy because they have the most frequency compared to ultraviolet light so we're gonna say less energy uh, because ultraviolet light right has uh, less frequency it has less frequency compared to compared to gamma rays right uh, you have to write in full you don't have to write it like the way i'm doing here i'm just doing that uh, to save time right or you can even go ahead and talk about the frequency about the wavelength i meant because we know that energy is equal to h multiplied by c divided by wavelength this might be a bit confusing for a few but bear with me here right you can say that uh, ultraviolet light has less energy because it has a higher wavelength right compared to gamma rays because energy and wavelength they are inversely proportional to each other when wavelength increases energy decreases right and the last question uh 5.4 5.4 .4, 5.4 says let's name the type of electromagnetic radiation that is used to study animals at night uh, that's quite an easy one right it's infrared infrared red.